Oh man. Oh my gosh, that's like instant death. Look at that drop. Well, maybe not. I think you could land right there. As long as you just don't end up over there, that would be bad. You think you could get you a boat in there, Bill? No. I don't know. I guess it's pretty deep. You don't have to worry about it. What are our thoughts, Terry? Pretty cool, pretty cool. So before we leave Page, Arizona, of course we gotta hit up Horseshoe Bend, which is like eight minutes from the Airbnb we we're staying at. It's honestly pretty impressive. It's a really cool sight to see how the water kind of has bent around this rock formation. It's also shaped like a horseshoe. I think what I find most impressive, since I've already seen this, is the fact that they have it paved. Um, Shelby and I came six years ago and it was literally a dirt road that you just walked up to and you took pictures. Now it's a nice trail to get down here and then they've got like an official overlook spot built out it cost us ten dollars to get in because we had to pay at the front but it looks like it's being managed now which we always love to see so that hopefully this is here for generations to enjoy so it's a beautiful day out here too perfect temp getting this close to the edge is a little questionable this is as far as I will go. We got some pictures in. It seemed to be a hit with the in-laws. They seemed to enjoy it, but they're parked over there waiting for us because we wanted to take some pictures. It is cool kind of to come full circle and be here again after six years. I mean, it's quite a sight to see. Look at that. I mean, I just keep taking pictures of it because how often are you in the middle of Arizona at a beautiful place such as this? Now, we'll be headed to Utah. Get it? Welcome to Salt Lake City, Utah. It is about 50 degrees outside today and I have swim trunks on because we may or may not be trying to float in the Salt Lake. We'll see if that happens or not. We got Bill over here with pants on. How are you feeling this morning? I was told to put pants on I had shorts on. <laughs> Shelby put together a really nice itinerary for all of us, but nobody's been looking at it, TBH, so it's either shorts when you're supposed to be wearing pants or pants when okay. you're supposed to be wearing shorts. No, I have not got this wrong yet. We got one person who's been looking at the itinerary. We've been staying in Airbnbs along our trek here. And I'll give you a quick pano. Kitchen. Bill has been securing this region of the house very well. And then the bedrooms and stuff are back there. Won't give you a full tour, but just wanted to kick things off this morning before we go attempt to jump in the lake. What's out there, Mom? A cow. A cow? We have spotted our first buffalo, folks. I don't think I can really bison. They're technically bison. But they're there, there's one. That's the closest one. And then there's a few more back there. There's at least three more back there. And Madison's driving and we're thinking we might get in the lake. I, it's a long walk to the lake. The beach is very dried up. But you only get to try this once. I mean, technically, I guess you could come back, but we're already here, so you gotta do it. You know what I mean? Let's see how it goes. There's Antelope Island oh, State no Park. There are showers up there, so we're gonna get on the beach up there. Antelope Island certainly does not disappoint. We got buffalo right here by the road. Check it. I'm gonna zoom in so y'all could actually see them, but they're there. He's right there. You ain't allowed to help. What is happening? Shelby's doing the most. There you go, wag that tail. Come on, one foot in front of the other. Is he asleep? He just moved. Look at that model right yeah, there. Get him on video, laying down there, get him on video. Yeah. Going down. Gosh, the gnats are crazy out here. That little sightseeing tour. Oh, gnats! <laughs> <laughs> that little sightseeing tour was really cool. I mean, when we come, we're just taking in everything that we can take in, we're not really expecting to see anything, but we saw bisons and a coyote right off the bat. And now we're gonna go try and test out the lake. So it must get higher and get lower throughout the year because right now when you look out, all you can see is like a little layer of like mud. And then the lake is actually like further back. We've definitely got a little trek ahead of us, but we gotta get out of these nets. You ready to party? I don't think you're gonna get out of them, but yeah. Here we go. The sand is pretty legit. It's pretty smooth. We're entering the muddy there section. There are like mud rocks that are kind of painful. Yeah, the mud rocks aren't pleasant. Terry and Bill decided not to make the trek down here. It probably would have been pretty hard for Bill to get down he here. He could not have gone down here, period. Yeah, and then Terry is just up there hanging out with them and dodging the gnats. Those gnats are freaking incredible. They're not down here though. I thought they would be. We still have a bit of a trek until we get to the water, but we're almost there. We're like the only ones out here too. It's like <laughs> desolate. 360 for you all. 
this has been a really nice road trip. You want to give them any updates about how it's been with the parentals? I honestly, if any of you guys know about my history with my mom at all, was nervous about her and I getting into it, but we have not at all. And as a matter of fact, she's been great. And instead my dad, I don't know, he's just not used to being around people a lot. He's just a grumpy old man, really. So it gets kind of, that's kind of been frustrating, but it's not been bad. He's got something to say about everything. He's Why are like, you walking so ah, fast? Ah, it hurts, you ah, slow ah. Yeah, the ground just changed and it's like, more salty and it's kind of painful. It's like, oh, I feel like my feet are bleeding <laughs> all of a sudden. Walk on your tippy toes, it's better. Oh, he's kind of been your stereotypical grumpy old guy. Anything and everything <laughs> you can think of to complain of, he complains of. But I feel like he's still having a good time. Every now and then I'll try and ask him a question that like you can only answer positively. And he's like, yeah, I'm having a good time. Ah, oh, my feet. We need like flip flops. We're out here trying to walk across and we legit <laughs> just found buffalo prints. Literally buffalo poop also you guys and so one of them laid down and rolled right there i know they're not buffalo they're bison but you know for all intents and purposes they're buffalo what we're walking on when we looked at it from the road we thought it was going to be really muddy but it's actually like leftover deposits of like where the salt has dried and kind of like crustified the soil here so it really hurts to be walking on this we actually debated on going back but we're like halfway there we're just taking it slow they were taking it real slow but it freaking nice buffalo here softened up the sand it hurts we just made it and we could see like the little foamy salty stuff on the edge of the water now the last challenge is getting in what has to be cold water i'm really hoping that it's warm but we'll see oh finally something soft on my feet good lord oh, this shit feels amazing look at the oh, i just love the symmetry that you can see on the water it's really cool this feels very therapeutic It's not staying on like I envisioned. Ew, it's heavy. <laughs> Holy shigale, that's cold. Mm, mm. Oh my God, I can't feel my feet. I can't feel my feet. They're going numb. They're going numb. I'm just gonna back up for a second. That's about 60 degree water, 50 degree water, 40 degree water. It's very cold, very cold. She'll be beating on her chest. I just want to float. I do too. You go first. He's putting my whole body up into this. I know. Go get in here. Come on. Dude, I'm terrified of how cold that water is. It's about 57, 60 out here, and then the water's probably like 40. That, why is it dropping so much? Because it is. It's not. It's not almost freezing, Madison. I have to channel my inner Imogen Lucas. Yeah, I know. She does this like it's chill, you know? Ugh. She likes cold swims. I'm like, um, how? Come on, we just gotta go for it. Let's get up to our knees. Come on, go. I'm right behind you. Are you though? Yeah. We have to do it. We just have to do it. Come on, we gotta go. We can't think about it. I gotta take my beard off. Gross. I just don't wanna go first, but I'm right behind you. If you go, I'm going with you. I don't know if I can go. What do you mean? We probably look stupid. No wonder we're the only people out here. <laughs> All right, I'm up to my knee. No! <laughs> Keep going, come on. This hand is nice. Come on, let's go. Keep going, keep going. Go, go, go. Don't stop. If there's a buffalo, should we swim out or run in? <laughs> stop. If I put my body in this, my soul might leave <laughs> my body. <laughs> Do you not understand? <laughs> I was meant to be on the land. It's pretty bad, y'all. It's experiencing the first stages is hypothermia. <gasps> the sand is getting sinky. The sand is getting sinky. <laughs> Oh no! It's kind of hurting like at my knee. Shelby Cam, quit bouncing that little croissant and get in there. <laughs> but, 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 like where the, where I've been in the water, it's not so bad. Okay, so come this way, not that way. You're like, bah, 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 falling backwards. The sand's getting sinky. The sand's getting sinky. It's getting sinky. <laughs> One. I don't wanna. Squat on three. No. What? Two. No. Three. No. Come on, come on, come on. Get down here. <laughs> Grab it. One, two, three. I'm doing it. Get. Oh, my legs don't work. <laughs> pass the booty. Pass the booty. You got it. You got it. I don't know if my butt's in all the way. Is it in all the way? Is it in all the Get way? No okay. Oh, my belly. Oh, my belly. <laughs> Get down here. Get I don't here. like this. I don't like this. <laughs> we need to huddle for more. <laughs> okay. I think we can do it. You got a mouse in there? <laughs> You did it! Are you floating? I'm cold! <laughs> You're okay, one hand at a time. Give me one of your hands. Come on, let's, let's do 
Let go of me. I'm crying. It's so cold. <laughs> Come on, let go of me. Are you floating? Yeah. Is it fun? This is the most fun ever. Shelby's starting to float. She's doing it. It just really hurts my hands. Like, I feel like I'm good, but then my hands, they just really hurt. Oh, you know what? Come here. Stand, hold me up like I did for you. And my hands will have to be in the water. Okay, hold me up. Okay. Pull me up a little more. Okay. Okay, that's good. <laughs> cold! I'm oh, so cold! <laughs> ah, I don't know if the camera was recording this, but I did this for Madison. And it worked for her. <sighs> <laughs> I'm floating, yeah? I think so. I'm Did you off of the ground? Yeah, where am I? I'm floating! <laughs> we successfully floated in the salt lake. But it's not bad when you get out. Like, my back just still hurts from the water. Yeah. I've never been able to float at all, like, my entire life. So that was a really cool experience. I'm really glad that I did it, even though it freaking sucks. Yeah, I'd like, recommend the water's coming cold. in the summer, maybe. Yeah, definitely making a trip back so that I could float. This is the only place, one of the only places in the world I could float. They have showers, which is really nice. We have to pay for them, and we don't have any quarters, but luckily my parents always have money, so Madison went to get some. We're gonna take a quick shower. Here we go. Can we get a light? icon we're going sail. there's Shelby the photographer doing the most <laughs> Ooh, this room is like the cutest look at that little owl then we got that view Ooh, it's immaculate Shelby always does an excellent job getting our places that's me very nice yeah you can see this whole hillside and like my parents have been super into looking for wildlife, obviously. So you can see like elk, deer, bear, maybe. Mm-hmm. And these cute little rocking chairs here. Very nice. Today, we're actually going to go to... Yellowstone! Yellowstone. Yellowstone. So this trip kind of originated out of Shelby's parents really wanting to go to Yellowstone and then kind of hitting other things around it, which has been what we've been doing. But Yellowstone is like the, the main destination. I'm really excited. Yellowstone is like one of the most beautiful national parks that I feel like there is out there. You always see really great pictures of it, but we've never been. So Shelby and I are pumped. Like we said, things have still been going pretty good with them, but um, Hopefully this really wows her dad. We're currently in Jackson Hole and we're just wrapping things up and I'm just sitting here rocking in this rocking chair in front of this window because it's incredible. Shelby and I were trying to do some spot, some animal spotting this morning. She was sitting here telling me she thought she saw something but then she's like, oh, it hasn't moved. It's a rock. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well you thought it was something so that's still exciting but we're about to hit the road though because we have like three hours until we get to Yellowstone. Would you look at that? Okay, yeah. Okay, get back in the car. No, don't We're in Yellowstone. We've been driving through the park for all of like five minutes and Shelby has spotted our first sight of bison. So we're flipping a Yui to go back so that we can get a closer I know look. where they are. Look at that dude. Wow. Hey Bubba. If he turns to the left, Shelby, you better be ready to boogie. If that tail goes up, I'll go. Look, he's just chilling. It's currently snowing in the car. Like if you can see this craziness. But there's another one right there. Wow, just an icon. It's snowing, there's buffalo, we're in Yellowstone. I mean, Hi, dreams do come true. Oh, that's scary. Look at that, just traversing the landscape over Let's there. Go! They can run up to 40 miles per hour, so this is close enough. I didn't like that. Hey, guys, oh, what? That oh. Estimated number. Well, he's getting mad now. They're so the cute. Look at this. Somewhere is like yelling in his face. Rude. We just made it to our room in Yellowstone. Look at all the snow, y'all. All right, let's see what we got. We rented a cabin. Oh, snap. Oh, this is much nicer than I was expecting. This is legit. This is better than the pictures. Look at cabin. 
Oh, there's another room? Oh, we're not supposed to have that. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> Let me see. Do you think someone's going to stay in there? Like, well, yeah, it would still be hard for dad to get in and out of here. So I was going to say, like, if no one rents out, we could join them. Like, as you guys can see, you have to have steps to get in here. And then, like, you have to walk through the snow. And then, like, even if we wanted to roll out of here, there's, like, potholes and all kinds of stuff. So better for them to be in the hotel. Okay. Still safe now. <laughs> this is so much better than they expected. Yeah, this is great. It's pretty cute. Got a little breakfast nook. And let's see what's out here. Snow! So much snow! Wow, like a lot. We really weren't expecting all the snow. Shelby's mom kept looking at the radar and she was like, oh, we're good. We're going to get out of the snow because we went through a little stint earlier when we were coming out of Jackson. It's been like snow, sleet, snow, snow, sleet, snow ever since we got here. So, But now it's pretty clear out there. Like nothing else is falling. Yeah. So let's unload. Let's unload. We are out here at the Old Faithful Geyser and it's supposed to spew or whatever in about 20 minutes or so. So we were out here just grabbing good seats and making sure we are right where we need to be for when it goes off. It is so cold. It's very cold. But I brought gloves. I'm the only one who brought gloves, I believe. Crew? No, I did. No, those are my gloves. How are you doing over there, Bill? You look very some, cozy. I need some gloves. Gloves and what else from the store? A heater. A heater! <laughs> oh, yeah. He said he wanted insulated underwear. Yes. How are you feeling, Terry? You Just look snug peachy. as a bug in a row. Just peachy. This is the view currently. We're, we're working on more people filling up those seats right down there. I definitely didn't feel this cold when we were in the car earlier. Waiting for the finale. But Doing our best out. to stay warm. Are you trying to take yourself back? Yep, I'm gonna wheel, wheel myself back. God, he'll be in the middle of that geyser. <laughs> Terry. Terry. Where's he at? Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing over there, dude? <laughs> I can't see her. Where you at, Terry? She left. No, she just lied. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where do you think she is? Shit, I'm gonna take my ass back to the car. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Get out of my way. You have to stay here. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what a baby. That's all you want here. Yeah. Oh, it sounds a little terrifying. Have you ever had to use one of these before? Yeah, I used to live in Kentucky. I've never had to use one of these ever in my life. How'd you know they have one in there? Because I saw it when me and your mom got in the back seat. Nice. We need a tip check. What's the report? It's just warm. Not hot at all. Oh. Old Faithful was very, very eventful yesterday. It was cold, but definitely worth it. Nevertheless, today it is a brand new day, which means another adventure awaits us. We are currently at the... Oh God. We are currently at the Grand Prismatic uh, Geyser Basin? I don't know. We're here and we're scaling this boardwalk situation, as you can see. Bill is currently not with us because he was worried about the incline being a little too steep, but we are coming up here to check it out and it's getting foggier and foggier as we walk further and further up. Whoa, babe, this is cool. Wow. This is the Grand Prismatic Basin, right? Something like that. Midway Geyser Basin, Grand Prismatic Spring, I think. Babe, look at us, we're walking through like a freaking cloud. Cloud. Well, it's really steamed, but. Mom said she thinks that would have been hard to push dad up. I said that wouldn't have been hard at all. <laughs> no? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look, at, look at us. It is just straight fog.
Look at that blue water. So blue. Yeah. What do you think, Bill? Not much. Where's the big? I thought they had a real big dog. This isn't it yet. We gotta keep going. Oh, that's very cool. You think a beaver did that? <laughs> we made it. Yeah. All right. How do you feel about this set of falls? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen them yet. <laughs> Your little pouch. I wonder if we can look up how much water comes out of there at a time. Over 60,000 gallons per second <laughs> in the wet season. Yee! That's a lot. He said it didn't look like a lot of water. It don't. We will put it back up in the back of there. We've had our first elk sighting in the park. Look at that. Ooh, look at that white booty. And there's another one over there. Oh yeah. Oops, side shot. Y'all quit moving the car. Oops, oh, too close. <laughs> we are way too close. <laughs> Stop. So I, you, you passed him. His tail's missing. I don't. I can't. Oh, buddy, he's missing a horn. He's in rough shape. Oh, here comes one. Dang, look at all of them up there to the right. They're all like dust bathing. Whoa. Look, he can't roll over because the, the, the way their backs are shaped. Mm. He's just trying. <laughs> 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 He's like, oh fuck him, whatever, I'll flip over. Uh, to the other side. Yep. Uh -huh. Damn. Uh. That's funny. Snoopy <laughs> baby. They don't look nothing like them. <laughs> Do they? Three? Oh, there's a bunch of them. Three of them right there. He's got a collar on. Oh my god. Look at that shit. Don't what worry, would he have a collar oh, I guess that's what so they can track him? Yep. <laughs> Y'all, we got a fantastic view of a grizzly right there. Look at him! There's Madison. It's, it's full on snowy. <laughs> but if you get out of the car for anything. This is what you get out of the car for. Yesterday, we got some really good sightseeing in with like so many animals. We saw antelope, we saw bison, but as we're leaving the park today, we're running into black wolves and bears that are right on the side of the road. So we're taking a little extra time this morning to make sure we get some good pictures and videos in. He's this right bear's there. just been digging holes like all morning. Like, you can look. see he's been, let me see if I can zoom. He's been digging all along here and just keeps going. I'm not sure exactly what they dig for, but I did read that they dig, so. I was also telling <laughs> Shelby, we've been to quite a few parks and Yellowstone definitely is not disappointing. There's so much animal activity. The lodging has been on point. There's food that's been open late enough for us to eat, so, but yeah. Hold on, baby, he's on the move. He or she, they, they are on the move. Okay, I'm gonna get in here for a minute and warm up. I'm actually pretty comfortable. I packed really well, even for a Texas gal. I mean, I got my thick gloves, I got my little rain jacket, and under here we got some layers, so we're doing well. They, these gloves aren't doing it, but I need them to use the touch screen on my camera, so. That's a big old bear. What do you think? I think it's a big one. I think it's a big one. He's digging too, boy. He wants, he's hungry. He wants hungry. <laughs> he's hungry. <laughs> Baby. 
get it. So ignore that, but I wanted to show you this Airbnb. This is the coat, little coat mudroom. Can you see? This is mom and dad's room. Everything is very wooden. In the kitchen, I love these mismatching chairs in the kitchen. I thought that was cute, and like, it's just very, I don't know, it's very cabin-esque. I've never really stayed anywhere like this, so I just wanted to show you. This is the living room, which is definitely the cutest part. All the windows are open, so it's making it kind of dark on the camera. But there you go. And it has this actual wood-burning stove, which we didn't use because, like I said, we weren't really feeling up to it. But we did watch a Yellowstone documentary on the TV last night with an electric fireplace, which is actually perfect for this space. They did that really well. And then our bedroom is right here. And that's me. Hello. Madison is in here putting in her contacts. That's yes. why she looks like she's crying. Where are you going? I'm going back down. Why? Because y'all are being ignorant getting that close to the edge. You don't know if that's going to break. Y'all are going to fall and break your neck. <laughs> yeah, break. <laughs> this whole ass boulder just going to break apart. Oh, look at She's not steady as it is up there. And you're hungrier than she is. And what the? You better go away. We spoiled them by going to Yellowstone first. Yeah, a little bit. I'm ready for your dad to be like, Where's the, where's the animal? I know. Where's the Restaurant. Oh, we just saw two moose. We pulled right off the side of the road because it's a good, it's a pretty good sign when you see everybody We're with their camera pointed towards the hill. So sure enough, we got out here, grabbed our binoculars, and it's kind of a ways off, but with the binoculars, it's like you're standing right up next to it. It's actually not that far. You can see it through the camera with your naked eye. That's it right there. So cool. So the only thing I think that we have left on our animal bingo is a big horn ram, which there was a guy that was coming this way that said he saw two of them. And he's like, they're headed this way. But sure enough, we didn't find them. So we'll keep looking. We also saw turkeys, which were not on our bingo list. So bonus. Well, shall we see one of the moose? There he is. Whichever one has a king bed. Whoa! Wow. Here she comes. What is this? The third living room. It really is the third living room. Yeah. Hey, you sit right here and watch for your bear and big horns and is everything else. Damn. All the bathrooms has dimmers. I'm not sure where this dude is going. Oh shit. Go help him, babe. You can't come up here. here. You hold this. Oh, oh good God. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> what are you doing? This is so freaking awesome. I can help you get up here if you want. I think I might need to take a bath tonight. This is crazy. Bay windows. And you can sit here and listen to the water. I thought you were going to lay down. You can just go to sleep with the sound of the... <laughs> That's all you need. Open that tonight and you will sleep. Open that tonight and you will sleep. Okay. Mom's gonna sleep in this little extra bed in our room. Yeah, I'm gonna sneak up here in the middle of the night. She already said she's gonna take a bath. Oh. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end it here guys this has been a crazy little family vacation slash getaway but it's been a lot of fun we're not really gonna do anything too exciting we're just hightailing it back to Texas so I'm gonna end it here but thanks for hanging out with us until next Saturday we'll catch you later Mattlebees.